Okay, hey there, Roland. Let's take a look at what you did in this particular set. Um, this is the one about business hours. So let's see what happened. Okay. Um, yes. It's very common nowadays, especially in big cities, to have businesses that stay open till late in the night. This has fueled arguments on whether it is a positive development for shops to stay open or whether it has negative effects on society. I strongly believe it is beneficial for business owners, people, and the society for shops to stay open for longer hours. Okay, fine, not bad. Shop owners that chose, you mean choose, I think, here, no? So, shop owners that choose to stay open frequently face challenges such as robbery and assault. This is so because robbers often target businesses that close late and are located in secluded areas. Uh, okay, another undesirable effect singular of businesses having extended hours is that they may encourage people to stay out late, which can have the effect of increasing the number of victims in the event of a crime. For example, a recent report released by the London Metropolitan Police indicated higher number of victims, mm, indicated a higher number of victims for crimes that occurred during late hours when compared to the ones that took place during the day. I would have liked to hear it compared to those instead of the ones. So businesses that open for longer hours may unknowingly contribute, may be unknowingly contributing to the number of victims of night crime. Okay, fine. In spite of the aforementioned negative effects, businesses that have extended hours have the benefits of helping people that I don't like the present continuous here that arrive late from work um, to get items they need, such as food and household materials. Uh, I don't think we call them household materials. I think um, uh, household items would be better. Yes, they also help people get services. Well, okay, rather than that, um, Fine. They also help people get services they would normally not get on weekends and holidays. Okay. Um, fine. Another benefit is they gain more profit and are able to afford their employees longer hours. Uh, employees apostrophe here. Longer hours of work, which translate to higher earnings and lesser unemployment in the society. To support this claim, a research conducted, not a research, but just research, conducted by the London School of Business found that businesses, business that open, no, businesses that open for extended periods earn more profit and pay their employees better when compared with a D uh, with businesses that do not. Okay, so I really kind of struggled with this paragraph because it felt like a list. Um, you didn't really support any of these ideas and truth be told, they're kind of, um, they're kind of self-explanatory but that doesn't mean you shouldn't support them. So that's my real concern here. Um, so, I mean, here, just give me an example of somebody who is who takes advantage of this kind of thing, okay? So maybe people like nurses who work odd hours or they work night shifts, for example, like that. this kind of thing would really help them as well, okay? Um, yes. Okay, so uh, to conclude, there, although there are dangers and negative effects of business closing uh, late, uh, okay, here's where you need a comma. You see where the confusion comes in? You didn't have a comma here, so I didn't know where to pause. To conclude, although there are dangers and negative effects of businesses closing late, comma, examples have shown that it benefits the business, the people, and the society uh more for them to stay open for longer okay it be benefits businesses plural because there's not just one business uh people not the people and the societies okay all right so um it's good but you could see that i, I struggled with a couple of things here um yes i i did i struggled with a couple of things but on the whole it's nice there were a lot of things i did like um your um your organization was good your vocabulary was good so all this was all well done um it's a nice essay on the whole okay let's take a look at your uh task one okay so let's go to the restaurant you did not enjoy here we go dear restaurant manager i am 
writing to inform you of my dissatisfaction after eating at your restaurant yesterday. Having closed from work after a busy day, I decided to have dinner at your careful restaurant, which I have heard makes delicious food with excellent service. Careful. It's almost as if you're saying that the food is made with excellent service. So be careful. Um, so I decided to have dinner at your, your restaurant, which I have heard uh, makes delicious food served with, um, no, you can't say served with excellent service, and has excellent service, would have worked here just fine. Okay. Um, so, on getting there, I placed my order and paid. I had to wait for almost an hour before the order finally arrived. When I tasted the food, it was the most awful and saltiest thing I have ever tasted. Adding to that, the food had grains of sand in it. Gross. I decided I could not eat the food and had to call the attention of the waitress. After laying my complaint, she insisted that the food was properly made and that if I was no longer interested in the food, I should leave as there are other customers waiting. Okay. As I was very angry, and did not want to cause a scene, I, careful with your grammar, I decided to leave. Since I did not get value for my money, I want to request a refund, no four here. Uh, yes, my account number is this. I would suggest that you take your waitresses for prompt customer service training in order to prevent this type of incident from reoccurring. Okay, um, I look forward to receiving the refund. Yours faithfully, fine. Okay, um, this is good. You did all the things you're supposed to do. It was laid out clearly. Everything was good. If there's one thing that I wasn't a huge fan of, it was some of your grammar. And let me explain to you why. Um, it's because you had um, a bit of repetition with um, some of these grammatical phenomena. So let me show you what I mean. Having closed, so you've got this prepositional clause here, okay? Having closed from work, uh, on getting there, okay? And then here, when I tasted the food, this is now a different thing, okay? This is now like this, um, but it just all feels very similar. So look at this. Having close from work, on getting there, when I tasted the food, adding to that, after laying my complaint. So it's all really like repetitive. Even this, as I was very angry uh, and did not leave, so, so you've got these, um, kind of um, dependent clauses starting almost every single sentence that I pointed out. And so it just feels really rather repetitive. Um, I like all of these grammatical structures because they're all rather advanced and I think that's great. Um, but you really should have varied it a little bit. How could you have done that? Um, let's see. Uh, Upon my arrival, I placed my order and paid, okay? Um, I tasted my food and uh, promptly discovered that it was awful and the saltiest thing I had ever tasted. Okay, so just changing some of these up so it doesn't all have like this same kind of rhythm and the same kind of structure of the sentences, I would have preferred it, okay? However, it was very good, and I liked a lot of the grammar you used because it was good and it was advanced, so well done there. Um, but still, I would like to see some of this stuff changed up a little bit, okay? You've done a really nice job, Roland. You asked if I thought you were improving. The answer is absolutely yes. I thought, these was, I thought this was a good set of essays. You're on your way, but we still are working to kind of tweak some of these little things to help you get the score you absolutely deserve and need, okay? So let's see another set of essays from you. I'll be waiting. Good luck.